Charlie's dread locks. I'm gonna Whoa. be washing them and then she's basically gonna talk you through what she does to the dreads. Yeah, because as you can see, there's so much growth and I haven't taken care of them for a minute, so I need to neaten them up. When was the last time you washed them, neaten them and everything? Are you neating them every now and again, don't you? I neaten them like every couple of weeks, but obviously when you sleep and getting changed and stuff, the hair's come a bit loose. I don't remember when I washed them, actually. I don't actually I think I washed last. them last, uh, mine. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I can't remember. Anyway, so we've been to the garage, and we've got some, oh, this is, this is for afterwards. Some bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate of soda that we're gonna mix with the hot water. Yeah, we did want to use apple cider vinegar but we can't find any at the moment and then we just got some nice shampoo yeah my scalp's been a bit dry i'm not gonna lie to you i think it's where where when you have dreads you don't have to wash them all the time so i think it's just where i don't wash them so much i don't have that much moisture but yeah. i get a bit itchy sometimes right so, so hopefully this will help i know you're not supposed to really use normal shampoo but I we like care. the scalp to be nice and healthy yeah. so we're gonna use I'm some not, nice i'm not trying to spend loads of money on specific dreadlock shampoo i'm not gonna lie to you you know what i mean okay so here is the bucket we're going to be washing our hair with because we haven't got one of those little like fancy yeah so we're just going to do a bunch things. of soaks uh in my dreads where i use products and normal shampoo i do get some build up so yeah. we're hoping with the bicarbonate of soda doing some rinses or some soaks rather than some hot water i'm gonna just lay back and let baby squeeze my dreads and we'll just see i'm how gonna enjoy this so much i'm actually looking forward to it as well because i hate washing my own hair so the fact you're gonna do it is great yeah you hate washing your hair I love squeezing the dreads, like all of the water out of the dreads, but also you never get the little massage yeah. on your head. Yeah, that's the, the, I'm not gonna lie, the one downside to dreads, yeah, is you can't use them, you know the head massages, they've got loads of like claws and stuff. They're you can't claw. use one of those. My head gets but really some Every time we wash the hair. I get a deep massage. Anyway. Right, let's get going let's then. Fill this up with water. The bucket is full. Charlie's just peeing. We're gonna take this upstairs. You ready, V? Let's go. So I'm gonna be putting in the bicarbonate soda or the baking soda and give that a mix. Yum. Right, put your head back then, work. darling. Change of plan. It's hurting my neck way too much. Yeah. Oi, put your head in there. I'm sorry, this chair's tipping. So this is the water first time. It's can't even see my hand. It's actually so gross. I didn't think it was that bad because I wash my hair yeah. like every three Although, weeks. Although when you've washed your hair before, you've done it with just shampoo. This time we're proper deep cleaning it with the bicarbonate of soda, which I guess we should have done a lot sooner. Round two. Put some more bicarbonate of soda in there. I decided to switch location because I was getting tired of going up and down the stairs because I'm lazy. Bicarbonate soda. This is going to be the third route. So the last time you did it, it was still cloudy. Could you see your hand? No. No. It's not as bad this time. I mean, that you can still... You can see your hand a tiny, tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. So next time we might be able to see your hand a bit. More. Final rinse of this. I feel like I just put way too much in. No, you do More? Yeah. Okay, that should be fine. It's up for the indigestion, so I'm out of this. Yeah, the baby's got some indigestion. She's not feeling too good, so. She's just gonna sit and watch. Chill out with my bestie. That's me. Also, if I die, you're here to save me. You're not gonna die, baby. Okay, I can't really record this, so I will just skip to the end once I've rinsed it and show you guys. Did the final rinse. The water's actually not that bad. You can actually see my hand really well. So now I'm gonna shampoo it quickly. Now I'm not 
downstairs I'm gonna dry this I'm not gonna lie it's gonna take a long time and then afterwards we'll uh, get the crochet hook out and try and neaten up these individually let's get to it change plan baby's gonna step in and help me out cuz I hate blow drying my hair I love you thank you <laughs> JLS stuck in my head. Which one? If I die, yeah, would, would you come, come to my funeral? Would you cry? <laughs> you explaining what I'm doing or am I explaining? Well, you explaining. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know if this is an actual thing that people do, but I like to do it because I feel like I get such a dry scalp and it's difficult to maintain a moistured scalp with dread. So I just put a bit of oil, like what baby's doing, a bit of oil on her hands, just trying to run it and rub my scalp, rub it into my scalp as best as she can, just to get a bit of moisture on there. So. A special occasion next i got this texturizer spray from raw roots i recommend them actually i got a really good starter pack when i first got my dress i started my dress maybe three years ago and i got this starter pack it came with this this like powder which you put on your scalp as well it's good for honestly taking the moisture out of your hair which helps it to knot more helps it to tangle more to create dreads and it came with like a bar of soap an organic bar of soap for, for your hair especially for dreads so definitely recommend Smells very natural. It's got like green tea, aloe vera. It smells very um, strong. Okay, so the next step, now my hair is all dry. Now baby's very kindly dried my hair. I now need to, as you can see, tidy them up because although you can see the different dreads here, there's a lot of little hairs that have, I mean, dreads are made up of broken hairs, split ends, things like this. So naturally with time where you're taking clothes off, you're just, just going through your your day to day the hairs kind of here split and they come loose so i just need to get this crochet hook to be honest a lot of people use smaller ones i should get a smaller one but you know what this one it's a size i don't know how they measure it maybe milli millimeters or something but i've got the 10. this one works fine for me works perfectly fine so what you do you get the dread make sure you can see and then you collect any hairs that belong in this section i start at the base of the dread and then what you do you get the end with the hook stick it through the dread through the middle of the dread wrap those loose hairs around it and just pull them back through with the crochet hook and you repeat that process till you get to the end of the dread it is very very long-winded so this is going to take me probably a good couple of hours maybe longer to do my whole head but it is what it is it's worth it as well i like how my dreads look after so yeah i'm going to continue grab that piece of hair that i've just pulled through wrap it around the dread slightly and again just pull it through again with the crochet hook and just literally repeat that process <laughs> I've neatened it as much as I can with the crochet. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, it's a dread, so it's not going to be smooth, but it's a lot cleaner. After I've crocheted the dread and I've pulled in all of the long hairs, I just palm roll it. It does take quite it a lot. It mats up more of the hair and makes it tighter and makes it stay in Yeah, it helps it nice mat up. the hair, but the hair that I've just pulled through with the crochet hook, it just helps it to mat with the rest of the dread. I try my best as well to give my dreads blunt tips. I know a lot of people like them frayed. For me personally, not a fan of that look at all. It makes the dreads look even more messy. I mean, nothing against you if you have it that way, but for me, blunt tips all the way. All about the blunt. Mm -hmm. Right, now I am gonna honestly cut this off whilst I complete the rest of my head because I'm gonna be here for like two hours, probably two and a half hours, so me and babe are gonna watch a film. And then I will come back once my full head is done and I'm looking a lot neater, a lot more presentable, and show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so this is like three hours later and I just finished my back, my neck, are killing me. Crocheting your hair isn't for the week, trust me. It's looking really good, it's a lot cleaner. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's a lot cleaner. The ends are nice and blunt, how I like them. And yeah, it's just all around looking, it's looking nice. Baby likes it, so I'm happy. But anyway, I'm gonna go lay down and allow my back some rest right now, cause I am tired after that. It takes a long time. That's why I keep putting it off, I'm not gonna lie to you. I put it off a lot, cause sitting here for three hours just 
isn't the one. Anyway, if you want to know more about my dreads or you've got questions about how I care for them or you just want to keep updated, follow. They have grown a lot. I think when I got dreads, they were like just, just under my face. They were really, really short. I've got a picture on my phone maybe I can share, but they've grown a lot. They are slowly growing. Thank you for watching and of course, drop some questions if you have any. I'll be happy to answer. In the meantime, peace. You saved me. I like this shit a little bit crazy